And it's not just cases that are high. The number of hospitalizations statewide is also at its highest level since February. As News Channel 5's Kyle Haran shows us, as the state remains under vaccinated, the uptick in cases isn't showing any sign of slowing. People at the Department of Health are worried about the low vaccination rate here in Tennessee, and they believe that vaccine hesitancy is driving it. So here's some information from the state about breakthrough infections. Right now in the state, 2.7 million people have already been vaccinated, and of that number, only 1,600 people have had breakthrough infections. That's just 0.18% of the total COVID cases. That means, Dr. Piercy says, that the vaccine is working. Across Tennessee, it's not looking good. COVID-19 numbers are climbing fast, 204% in just one week, and hospitalizations are matching the trend. There's 1,100 people hospitalized with the virus statewide. Of those people, 80% have the Delta variant. But Dr. Piercy was quick to point out few of those cases are among the vaccinated. Breakthrough infections are rare, and when they do happen, they're generally not serious uh, and rather mild. Tennessee's Department of Health is tracking those numbers. They say the vaccination rate has improved somewhat recently, up 22 percent, but more emphasis is needed, particularly in long-term care. According to Dr. Lisa Piercy, only about 50 percent of staff at nursing facilities are vaccinated. The residents there are at about 80 percent, but the numbers drop in rural areas. Most of the cases in nursing homes right now and, and all long-term care facilities are amongst staff, and that's because the vaccination rates in nursing home and long-term care staff really mirror that of the community. I wish that were different. Dr. Piercy also said the department is expecting the death rates will soon rise to mirror the uptick in COVID-19 cases. It's not good news, but Dr. Piercy says the data could help convince someone to get vaccinated. Kyle Harant, News Channel 5.